Hey guys, welcome back to trying Russian foods in the quarantine. Um, plot twist though, we're trying a drink this time instead of a food. Check it out. Uh, we have kvass. This is a traditional Russian drink. Um, I got some comments. Thank you, Vitaly and Nathan, for recommending this after my last video about the Bolochka candy. Uh, so I did some research and kvass is a hugely popular drink in Russia. I'm talking people consume this like hundreds of liters of this stuff per person per year. It's the most popular non-alcoholic drink in Russia. Um, it's over a thousand years old and it is made of fermented rye bread. I know it doesn't sound appetizing, especially if you don't like rye bread. However, it's super popular. I've heard it's a little bit sweet, a little bit sour, a little bit um, refreshing. People drink it in the summer. An NPR article I read said that instead of running out for ice cream trucks in the summer, Russian kids run out for kvass trucks. Um, so I'm looking forward to it. Okay guys. Kvass number one. This is Kvass Nikola. I believe that says traditional and either live cultures or active fermentation or something like that. Again, I still don't speak Russian, so everything I read off this bottle is coming straight from Google Translate, okay? The ingredients in this guy are purified water, sugar, rye malt, malt barley, rye flour, acidity regulator, citric acid, and baker's yeast. Sounds a little bit like a beer, um, but again, it's not fully fermented, so who knows? Um, I did not see wheat in there, and I don't know about the presence of gluten in other grains, but this might be uh, an okay drink for people who are sensitive to gluten. I'm not a doctor. Take that for what you will. Um, but the cool thing is the bottle does say no preservatives and non-GMO. So if you're into uh, clean living and clean eating and clean health, uh, this might be something you can eat. So let's go ahead and try it. Okay, guys, let's do it to it. Got my glass here. Oh, yeah. Fizz it up. Um, all right, let me get this so you can see. I'm just going to pour, pour a little bit here. All right, so it kind of looks like a beer with no head. Ooh, that was more than I wanted. Uh, so it has some fizz on it. Um, you can see that. You can see around the bottle, the little tiny bubbles there. It looks almost like a Coke in color. It's got kind of like that amber, dark amber caramel color. Um, it smells kind of like beer, uh, but not alcoholic, just kind of like the, the, the grain part of it. Um, but not bad at all. I mean, it's, it's not a bad smell. Um, so let's give it a shot. Huh, that's good. So it's smooth. It's not that heavily carbonated. So it's not like a, it's not a heavy carbonation like you get from like a LaCroix or a, an American soft drink. It is smooth though. People said it could have been sour, but I'm not getting sour. I mean, maybe a little bit, but not overwhelming, not overpowering, not like a kombucha or a kimchi. It's not really a harsh taste like one of those. So I'd say it's relatively smooth and, and agreeable overall. Um, mouth feels fine. It's smooth. Um, it is a little bit sweet. Um, it has um, about 24 grams of sugar in it for a 12 ounce can. So if you're talking about like a Coke or a, you know, another American soft drink would be 30 to 40 grams. This has uh, 24. So it's a little bit less sugar, but still sugary. Um, yeah, I like it. I mean, it's got a it's got a good balance, um, good flavor. It's hard to describe. It's kind of like if you had to describe a, a the taste of a Coke to somebody who's never had Coke before. Um, it's kind of that way. Um, but it's good though. It's really great balance overall, guys. I really like it. Um, so for mouthfeel, I'm gonna give it a nine. It's got a little bit of fizz to it, but not too much fizz from that fermentation. Uh, and it's got a good, nice, smooth flavor. So I, I'm gonna give it a nine or nine. So let me finish this off, and we're gonna do uh, kvass number two here in a minute. Okay. Hey guys, we're gonna to get to kvass number two in just a second, but before we do that, would you mind taking a real quick second and clicking that like button down below? And if you're having a good time, please do subscribe to the channel and smack that little bell notification icon right next to it so you get notified the very next time I post a video. Again, thanks for watching, I really appreciate it. Let's get on with kvass number two. Okay guys, this is kvass number two, a soft drink kvass from All Star Beverages, product of Canada, Toronto to be exact. I went to the website to find out more information. The website was down. Um, I found an article that said these guys, um, all they use and the ingredients on the bottle confirm is filtered water, rye breadcrumbs, barley malt, and sugar. That's it. Uh, now, naturally, the rye breadcrumbs are bread, so there's other ingredients here, including wheat flour, which means it's not gluten-free, um, and also sourdough, blackstrap molasses, uh, salt and coriander, which are all things that I don't think we had in the other recipe. So I'm expecting this to be different. I'm looking forward to it. Uh, nutrition wise, it has a little bit less sugar as well. So this has um, 18 grams of sugar per 12 ounce pour as opposed to the 24 on the other one. Uh, and it has three grams of protein. So maybe we can just call this a protein drink. Not really. Uh, all right, let's give it a shot. 
Okay, guys, Kavas number two. Oh, man, I thought it was going to explode on me. All right. Uh, very fizzy as soon as I opened it, right? So let's pour this as well. Try to get a nice smooth pour like I did the other one. So we got equal. Um, same amount of head and then it disappeared, it seems like. Um, let's give it a shot. Let's see. Um, hmm. Smells pretty similar to the other one. Um, I think it tastes more fizzy. Not fizzy like an American drink, but I, th I still think it has more effervescence than um, than the Nikola Kvassa we tried earlier. It tastes a little more beer-like, maybe. Maybe because it has less sugar, the beer taste comes out more. That's not a bad thing. Um, it's not any more sour. It's really actually a pretty similar flavor. Um, smooth as well. Maybe a little more sour. Maybe a little more sour just because it doesn't have the sugar in it, but... Overall, I like it. Um, I do not believe I gave a rating to the uh, Kvass Nikola before. Um, I would say that they're they're pretty similar, guys, honestly. Um, they really are. Um, and I like it. I mean, it's, it's hard to explain. It's almost trying to explain to someone uh, what a Coca-Cola tastes like who has never, ever had a soft drink before. Um, it's just a very complex, layered flair. I guess it would be kind of like if you took, um, you know, wort from brewing beer and fermented it enough to carbonate and then drank that uh, without completing the fermentation process. So um, I give them um, both a nine for um, mouthfeel. I like a little fizz, but not too much. And a nine for taste. This is really good. Um, and I also like the fact that um, actually I'll, I'll edge out the Nikola because it's non-GMO, no preservatives, and it appears to be gluten-free. Um, and those are all things that I choose when given the option um, when I'm buying food and drink. So, so I'll say that uh, I'm going to give this, uh, the Kvass Nikola, a nine, and the uh, soft drink Kvass from Canada, uh, an eight overall. I mean, realistically, they're all, they're very similar, but just because of the composition, I'll give the uh, the, the large bottle the, um, the lead here. Uh, and just so you know, the little bottle was $2 and the large bottle was three. Uh, so I mean, it's priced pretty cheaply, similar to a soft drink. Um, so if you should happen to find yourself near a Cafe Diana and need a drink, I would highly recommend you uh, pop in and try yourself a Gavas. Just know that this one is chilled in the store, at least on mine. Uh, and this is on the shelf warm and you're gonna wanna chill it before you drink it. They're, it's supposed to be drunk cold. Um, but I think that uh, I think that just about wraps us up with the Gavas for now. As always guys, thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. I'm glad you had fun. I do still have fun making these videos for you and trying new things. Uh, if you have suggestions for something for me to try next, uh, please leave me a comment below. I've already gotten requests of Prianiki, which I think is like a gingerbread cookie. Um, and the, somebody recommended or asked me to try like a fish cracker spread or something. I'm thinking maybe like a something fishy next time. I don't know. Uh, so if you have anything you want me to try, leave a comment below and I'll do my best to try to accommodate. Uh, but until next time, thanks for watching. Stay safe, stay healthy, and God bless. Bye for now.